Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to be showing you how to edit um, a dog portrait including removing the collars, uh, leashes and any distractions in the image using the LSP Fur Babies Photoshop Action Suite for Creative Cloud. This set contains over 65 actions all geared towards editing dogs and other animals in Photoshop. When you install the actions they will appear here in workflow order. This is your actions palette. For more information about how to load actions, how to view them and play them, please do see my other videos. Okay, so let's get started with this one. Um, I'm going to warm the image up to start with here on the image balance one click section. So I'm going to click warm a scene and you will see this warms the image up. If I turn it on or off. You can slide the opacity of this layer, which has appeared here in your layers panel, until you're happy. Okay, next up I'm going to play White's Rescue, which is Calm the Highlights here. So I'm going to rescue these whites, playing Calm the Highlights, and I'm just going to slide that up a little bit too, because the whites are quite bright on these dogs. I'm going to come here and I'm going to play the White Rescue brush. This orange section here, these are brushes, meaning they will play and you won't see any change until you paint them on. The brush will be selected for you in white. I like to have my brush settings on normal mode, 100% opacity and 25% flow. So I'm just going to lightly brush this over any areas that are a little bit blown out on those whites there. One common thing you may find when photographing dogs is kind of a blue tone sometimes in the whites or the blacks. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here to the tone brushes and play blue fix. And I'm just going to use this over any areas that look a little bit too blue. You can see I'm just brushing it over, this is a brush. I'm also going to use it here in the background a little because there are some blues here. And on this wood. So before and after, you can see the blues have gone. This is, um, these actions are totally non-destructive, so I can turn them on or off and still retain the original background layer. And it will be that way until you save a version, um, a finished version for your clients. I'm going to play green fix as well because I'd like this to be a slightly more autumnal image. So I'm just going to take some of these greens down by playing the green fix action there. So before and after. But of course the finished um, article is up to you. Coming down here now to the La Artiste section brushes and I'm going to play the Painterly Silk Fur Brush. This will give a lovely soft finish to the fur and pick out any of the highlights, um, adding a nice contrast that isn't too overbearing. So I'm just going to shrink that brush down a little bit and just run this over. So before and after with the Painterly Silk Fur. And now um, I'm going to get to the point where we remove these distractions and the collars and the leads. So let me just move, zoom in a little bit so we can see. This is this action section here, hide harness, collar, distractions, etc. So you can click on the instructions for them to come up. Um, you play the action and once you have your selection you play the select and fix. But I'm going to show you how to do it. So first of all play the setup action by clicking on it and you will see this is set up a layer here for you. Next, select the patch tool by clicking on the spot healing brush and coming down to patch. You may want to use a combination of patch and the action, but the action will definitely help you get it done faster. So what you need to do is holding down, draw a selection around the collar or any distractions you'd like to get rid of, leaving a nice little kind of margin around the edge but being sure not to go too far over, like that. And then hit this select and fix action and you'll see it removes it for you. This is also set to F4 shortcut on your keyboard so you can simply make the selection and then hit F4 and it will do the same thing. And because you're on patch tool, any little discrepancies you can draw around them and drag out the way. So that's before and after, removing that collar there. It's a little bit of hair there. Okay, and uh, let's remove this guy's collar. So first I'm going to come here and draw around the tag and select and fix it. 
I'm also going to use select and fix that area there and just kind of blend it in a little bit more. And now this piece. If there's any shadow remaining, you may want to draw around that too. I'm going to leave that lovely fold there. So I'm just drawing the selection loosely. And now I'm going to hold Alt to take away a little bit from this selection. And play Select and Fix. And you can see that's worked really quite well. And again, any little areas, you can patch them to similar. You know, you don't want to patch that with a piece of ear. Patch it with another piece of fur. So that's before and after, removing those collars. It gives us a much more natural interaction between the dogs. Now I'm going to grab the patch tool and do the same for this area here. Select and fix this area here. So you can see I'm just drawing around with this selection. And because this is on a new layer, if for some reason it doesn't work, you can always undo and try again. Uh, you can take it away, do whatever it is you need to do. I'm just going to take this area away too, I think. Let me zoom out and see. And perhaps these pieces. Any distractions in the image, really. And maybe this little bit here. So let's see before and after using the hide action, select and fix. So before and after, we've removed most of the distractions from the image. OK, so now I'm going to finish this off coming down to the diffuse finishes section. This image is um, quite a harsh looking image so I think I'm going to use some of the dreamy mix um, just to soften this up a little bit and to really focus on that interaction between the dogs. So how about we try the dreamy haze. Again this is non-destructive, you can turn the opacity up or down on this finish, you can paint it on or off. And perhaps there. And maybe another one, maybe cherished over the top. So that's just running out, just setting up the layers. And this set is for Photoshop Creative Cloud. It uses the camera raw filter, which you will not have on earlier versions of Photoshop. Oh, I like that. That looks really nice. I think I want to warm it up even more, so I'm going to come all the way back up to the beginning again and play Warmer Scene again. And I may play in the Le Artiste section the Draw Attention Brush. Now what this will do, it will darken your image down and it selects a black brush for you. I'm just going to make that bigger by pressing the bracket key to take off of your subjects. And perhaps this one here a little bit off the subjects. Okay, so let's see before and after. I'll come back on the brush, I may just brighten up their faces a little bit here. And perhaps add some contrast, which is down here, right at the end in the finishing section. The final touch is a contrast boost there. And perhaps a vignette. So let me just turn these off before and after. You can see all the actions have played as separate layers. <clears throat> so you can go back in and you can change and mix and match, paint on, paint off, do whatever it is you want to do. And that's using the LSP Fur Babies Photoshop Action Suite. 65 actions for pet photographers. And this is available at www.lsp-actions.com.